Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. The uh, subject now is meiosis. Meiosis. And uh, the question is, in the animal kingdom, meiosis always produces blank. And in the plant kingdom, meiosis always produces blank. Hmm, what's blank? Well, uh, the animal kingdom we should be able to answer right away because we did that animal kingdom life cycle, right? We had that line that cut the circle in half and coming across the uh, circle going from uh, to end to end, that took meiosis. And so what was that, what was that first thing produced by uh, meiosis in the animal kingdom? Hmm, it's a G word. What is that? Gametes. Yes, gametes. Meiosis occurring in us is producing gametes, uh, egg cells or sperm cells. And so uh, meiosis in the animal kingdom produces gametes. Uh, well, what about the plant kingdom? What does meiosis produce in that kingdom? Well, meiosis in the plant kingdom produces spores. Oh, spores. We learned about spores in the in kingdom fungi. We learned three characteristics of spores. They are the same three characteristics of plant spores. You say, well, uh, don't uh, plants have gametes? Yes, they do. But they're not produced directly by meiosis. A little bit more of a complicated scenario here. But let's put down what we just said. Uh, we're talking about meiosis in plants and animals. And so let me put the uh, animal kingdom over here and the plant kingdom over here. And one thing that's not different is the uh, basic diagram. And what was that again? Let's see. Uh, in both kingdoms, there are how many daughter cells? I mean, in meiosis, there's how many daughter cells? There are one, two, three, four. And what happens to the chromosome number? It is cut in half, right? Okay. So the same, exact same diagram over here in the plant kingdom. Again, just one, two, three, four daughter cells. All right, nothing different so far, but there is, uh, we already alluded, uh, spoke of a major difference and that is what you call these things and so what did we say just a few minutes ago uh, meiosis in the animal kingdom produces what what do you call these things you call them what the G word yes gametes you call them gametes and what did we say about the plant kingdom meiosis in plants produces what spores produces spores and so uh, wow, that's, uh, that's something. That's something. Now, they're both reproductive cells, but they operate differently in reproduction, as we will see. And so, as we'll see right now, as a matter of fact, uh, <clears throat> in what ways are spores and gametes the same, and how are spores and gametes different? Well, they've got to be the same in a couple major ways, because in the plant and animal kingdom, they are both products of meiosis. Yes, they are. And so, how are spores and gametes the same? How are they the same? Well, they're how many cells big? How many cells big? I mean, they're products of meiosis. That's a single cell, right? And so, both spores and gametes are single cells. They are a single cell. And what's the chromosome number inside that, of that one nucleus inside it? It is N. It's got to be. So they both have one haploid nucleus. One haploid nucleus. And so we have two similarities between gametes and spores. But gee, there better be a difference so there's no point in uh, having different terms for them, right? So what is the difference between gametes and spores? Once again, gametes and spores are both single cell and they both have one haploid nucleus and that follows from them both being products of meiosis, right? Single cells, haploid nuclei. Okay, that's going to be uh, that's that's a that's a you know that's something's pretty obvious. But how are they different? How are they different? They are different in how they reproduce. They are both reproductive cells, but they are different in how they do reproduce. And so. How do gametes reproduce? Well, we, we sure know. <coughs> Excuse me. Male gamete finds a female gamete, right? What's that called? Fertilization. And so these reproduce 
reproduce by fertilization. Reproduce by fertilization. That's how gametes do it. How do spores reproduce? They don't do fertilization, but they reproduce. What do we say is characteristic, that third characteristic of a spore? It reproduces by what? By mitosis. Yes. And so we're talking haploid mitosis here, right? These reproduce by mitosis. Yes, they do. That is the difference. That is the difference. Gametes reproduce by fertilization. Spores reproduce by mitosis. And so, uh, again, real quick, in the animal kingdom, meios meiosis produces what? Gametes. In the plant kingdom, meiosis produces what? Spores. How are they the same? They're both single cells, gametes and spores. They both have one haploid nucleus. How are they different? They're both reproductive cells, but they're different in how they reproduce. How do these reproduce over here? They reproduce by fertilization, with the exception of parthenogenesis, of course. But we'll just say they reproduce by fertilization, and these reproduce, no fertilization over here, uh, not with spores anyway. Uh, they reproduce by dividing by mitosis, haploid mitosis. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our little brief discussion of the plant kingdom. We will now jump into the deep waters of flowering plants. All right, bye-bye.